Welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Sejuani, The Winter's Wrath. Armored and armed with a ferocious boar, Sejuani is a melee tank with powerful initiation and crowd control abilities, making her a potent jungler or capable solo lane champion. Charging into battle atop Bristle, winter frost whirling around her, and the frigid snare of a glacial prison at her disposal, Sejuani has forged her frozen might in the icy north of the Freljord. Sejuani's passive is Frost Armor, which grants her bonus armor and resistance to movement slowing effects whenever she lands basic attacks or abilities. The armor bonus scales with Sejuani's level, giving her consistent durability throughout the game. When she unleashes Arctic Assault, Sejuani charges forward, damaging and knocking up enemies she collides with, ending early if she hits an opposing champion. While charging, she passes through terrain obstacles, making Arctic Assault an effective gap closer or escape. On cast, Flail of the Northern Winds causes Sejuani's next basic attack to deal bonus damage in a small area. After striking an enemy, she swings her Flail in a circular motion, dealing further damage to enemies around her. If Sejuani doesn't attack an enemy, she will automatically start swinging her flail after a few seconds. Permafrost has a passive and active effect. Every time Sejuani hits an enemy with an attack or ability, she applies frost to them for a few seconds. The frost itself has no effect, but when permafrost is activated, it damages and slows frosted enemies around her in a large area. Permafrost synergizes with her other abilities and is essential for damage and crowd control. Sejuani's ultimate, Glacial Prison, traps her enemies in ice. She throws a frozen bulla in a line, and if it hits an enemy champion along the way, it shatters, stunning and damaging nearby enemies. If no enemy champions are hit directly, the bulla will fly the full distance and shatter as it hits the ground, damaging and only slowing enemies in the area. When starting in the jungle, Sejuani's Flail of the Northern Winds is an essential tool for clearing the first few camps. Dealing area of effect damage on hit, and for several seconds after, she gets an efficient start in combination with the durability boost from her frost armor. Though Arctic Assault is typically used for gap closing and interrupting, the ability to go over terrain has endless uses for chasing and retreating over walls. Creative use of the charge will always keep your enemies on their toes. When going for a lane gank, try to get in range to knock your target champion into the air with Arctic Assault, followed by Permafrost for a crippling slow. With the cooldown in between, Sejuani actually backs out of this fight briefly to creep into position and pull the same combo again, making sure to knock Ezreal into the air. Landing a second Arctic Assault and Permafrost, Misfortune follows up for the kill. Despite being very low on health, Sejuani stays in range to stun Thresh with Glacial Prison, landing a basic attack, and baiting him into a second kill for Misfortune. When chasing an enemy, Arctic Assault is a great gap closer for taking shortcuts around obstacles. Diving past Trundle's pillar, Sejuani secures this kill for her team. When playing against Sejuani, don't underestimate the range on her Arctic Assault or her ability to tank turrets. Ezreal stands a little too close here, which allows Sejuani to knock him into the air. Frost Armor actively helps her tank the turret here as well, and she contributes to the kill with Flail of the Northern Winds. Permafrost can be activated at a surprising range and even from out of sight. With Arctic Assault on cooldown and Jace running away, she lands Permafrost, which allows her to catch up and land Arctic Assault for the kill. With the use of Flash, Sejuani can land a stun and initiate from a surprisingly large distance. Hastily using Flash and Arctic Assault, she lands a maximum range Glacial Prison, stunning Ash, and killing her from out of sight with Permafrost. Sejuani has incredible initiation power even while keeping herself at a safe distance. With her team on the pursuit, she uses Arctic Assault into Glacial Prison, stunning three enemies in place and setting up two easy kills. After sustaining heavy damage, she sticks around to burst down Jace with another Arctic Assault and Permafrost, grabbing a surprising kill for her team. In this second scenario, Sejuani lands another solid initiation in the Baron Pit, following it with Permafrost. She then dives straight into the action, taking the hard-hitting spells. Despite being very close to death, she used the burst damage of Arctic Assault to take down Leona at the last second before dying, resulting in an ace for her team. When building Sejuani, focus on a mix of movement speed, health, and resistances. For runes, try attack speed marks, armor seals, scaling magic resist glyphs, and movement speed quintessences. For masteries, try 2721, taking bonus minion damage in offense, health and monster damage reduction in defense, plus cooldown reduction and movement speed and utility. <laughs> Flash and Smite are great choices for Sejuani, allowing her to chase down enemies and secure kills. 
Thanks for tuning in to the Sejuani Champion Spotlight. Please subscribe to the Riot Games YouTube channel and leave us your comments just below the video.